So many times in healthcare, critical and end of life decisions have to be made about a loved one. But educating our Navajo patients about these decisions is often hindered, not only by a language barrier, but by a cultural barrier as well. Because of that reason, we created a series of videos in Navajo and English to address these topics with respect and from a cultural perspective. I was nominated for March of Dimes Nurse of the Year in the category of Friend of Nursing for my work on this project. Our elder, native elder patients who are Navajo speaking only, um, once they see these videos and they hear a familiar voice of Navajo and the Diné language, you know, they're engaged in their conversation even further after they see these videos. We decided to film this conversation up on Togo Osli, or San Francisco Peaks, and it was just phenomenal. The outdoors, the natural calming of the scenery, you could hear the wind blowing in the forest and the birds chirping. Because of this, we felt Grandma and Grandpa could relate to the outdoor setting and our message. At one point, I even had a butterfly land on my shoulders when we were um, filming, and it, that was just beautiful. It was phenomenal to be among all these great nurses that were nominated for Nurse of the Year Award. When I heard my name call, I just looked around and I was just so honored and I actually got teary-eyed. And it's kind of a long march up to where you go and um, get your award. So you're kind of piddling through crowds and trying to get to the award. But when I was going through there, I felt really heavy. I felt like really burdened. But because, you know, it's family life, it's work life, it's um, trying to maintain in a diverse culture where it's Native American, Navajo, Diné, and then in the culture of Western medicine. But when I got to the podium and I was able to receive my award, I looked out in the crowd again. And like I said, I heard Jonah Little Sunday's flute music again. And it just seemed like it carried all that with it. And I was very honored, I was very proud of myself that I was representing the whole Navajo Nation and our Diné patients and our Diné culture and our Diné tradition. So after I received my award, everybody did their applause and I was coming back down. Believe it or not, I felt really light. My footsteps felt lighter, you know, the weight of my shoulders were lighter and I was holding my head up high because I saw a group of Northern Arizona healthcare staff whistling, standing up in applause and being very proud. I feel like it was just very rewarding, just as I feel when at the end of each of my work day, I feel like I fulfilled my purpose for my Native American community and my Native American Navajo speaking Diné elders.